Hey guys, welcome back to America Truck Simulator, and welcome to the map rescale. I'm sure most of you guys have already played the rescale, but uh, this is pretty much my first uh, shot at playing it, so pretty excited about that. Uh, we are down here in San Francisco, California today, and we are going to take some frozen food over to Las Vegas. Now, I did start uh, one run uh, from Flagstaff and was going to go up to Elko, Nevada. I made it as far as uh, Piochi. And that took me about 30, 35 minutes. And then uh, I took some mods out and, uh, of course, it reset the game and sent me back here to San Francisco. So we're going to take uh, this utility reefer. This is one of the utility reefers from the uh, pack out there on the Steam Workshop. So be sure to check that out. But, uh, yeah, so far, the little bit that I've played of uh, the rescale, uh, certainly enjoying it. Definitely gives you that feel of, uh, you know, having a nice long run and everything like that. Just feels a lot more satisfying, a little bit more immersive. You know, you don't feel like you're constantly stopping and going and all that stuff. Actually feels nice to kind of be able to get out and drive and kind of enjoy the open road a little bit. I was actually uh, kind of curious about uh, San Francisco, if they've changed anything here or not. Uh, from what I can tell, not a whole lot has changed. But I know uh, in the initial release of the game, getting around San Francisco could be a little bit tricky, especially uh, the way we're getting ready to go. So kind of curious to see this. Here is where what I'm real curious about. If it's any easier to kind of maneuver this particular spot up here or not. And from what I can tell, it looks like it is pretty much the same. So it's kind of one of those areas where you pretty much got to hog up the entire road. I don't know, maybe this does look a little bit different. hand lane yeah this does seem a little bit different it does seem like they uh, widen it up a little bit yeah because this is not nearly as bad as it used to be and used to you could not keep uh you had to take up both lanes of traffic just keep your trailer off uh the barrier back there. Very nice. Very, very nice. But yeah, of course, a lot to get to today. Uh, exploring the rescale, checking all that out. But uh, hopefully this is one of the last runs with the Logitech Momo. I actually uh, called and spoke with uh, Logitech support the other day. And, uh, you know, like I said, my wheel was still under warranty, but I wasn't quite sure how all that was going to work out. But turns out I am going to get a new wheel, the Logitech G920. I got to choose between that or the G29. So I figured I'd go with the uh, G920 since that's, uh, you know, also for the Xbox One. Not that I have an Xbox One, but with as many games as they're starting to integrate into uh, Windows from Xbox, I figured that'd just be the smarter choice. So I'm going to go with that. And uh, one thing that I was really, really pleased with is, uh, you know, since I have to return the G27, I have to return everything. Of course, the wheel, the pedals, and the shifter, they're go ahead, they're going to go ahead and uh, throw in a brand new uh, G4 shifter at no cost, which I thought that was just amazing customer service. So pretty excited about that. Uh, talked to him, I think it was on Tuesday, and they said the whole process takes about seven to 10 days. So hopefully right before Thanksgiving, if not, uh, you know, shortly thereafter, should have the new wheel in, get that installed right away and uh, be back in business as far as that goes. 
be able to use the SKRS again and be good to go. So pretty excited about that. Couldn't have come at a better time. You know, the rescale hitting and all that good stuff. Guys, turning that way. We're good here. I have not read the article yet myself, but I'll link it down in the video description. Uh, Rock Paper Shotgun has a really good article on, uh, you know, the map rescale and all that stuff. And I can't remember the exact title, but uh, something to the effect of, you know, like a must-own game or something to that effect to, you know, an essential game to own was, uh, you know, pretty much the subject of the title. Saying, you know, this is a must-have game now. So I thought that was really cool. So I'll link that down below. Be sure to check that out. Uh, they usually do some pretty good coverage of uh, American Truck Sim. I've read uh, several articles uh, from them on this game and uh, really enjoyed them. Really good, really in-depth. So check that out. But uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty sweet. Try to maintain the speed limit and all that stuff since we are in California. Let's set our cruise right there. That 56 would be all right. 55. So I'm just real curious to see how long uh, this run's going to take. Like I said, just from uh, Flagstaff to Piochi took about 30, 35 minutes thereabouts. And max speed was uh, 65. So that was definitely fun. That's pretty cool over there. Yeah, I'm just kind of checking everything out and you know checking to see if there's anything new and all that stuff. But that run, it was a good run because there were some nice stretches where you know you stayed on the same highway. You weren't stopping for a town or you weren't stopping to you know get on this road or get off that road and all that stuff. It was just some nice long driving, which, you know, we all have been wanting that since day one. So, really excited for this rescale. Really excited to uh, check out and experience all the new stuff. And I'll be really excited to... Uh, course get the new steering wheel in. Yikes, 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 yikes. There we go. There we goes. Now I um, have taken the uh, mod link, the link out for the uh, mod spreadsheet, sorry. Have taken that out since the game is in beta. You know there's a lot of mods that you know conflict or you know just aren't compatible with the latest update. Once uh, 1.5 is fully released, I will uh, get that link uh, back up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same format that I do for a LS PDFR, where I just put all the links in the video description. That way, you don't have to go out to a spreadsheet and you know kind of find what you're looking for. Everything will be down in the video description with a description of what the mod is, the link, and all that stuff, just like I do in LS PDFR. That way, it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier for you guys. And plus, I'm taking a bunch of stuff out anyway. Let me zoom cruise here and I'm gonna run a little bit lighter of a game and just pretty much the base stuff that I'm using for a particular episode will be what's you know in the video description so like I've pretty much taken all the modded trucks out with the exception of the 579 here taking a lot of the modded trailers out taking a lot of the other mods out And it's moving forward, we're going to run just a little bit lighter of a game. Of course, no map mods right now. You know, obviously don't need it because, uh, you know, we just got the rescale a couple days ago, so. But I am going to be pretty excited to see uh, what the MHA guys do with uh, their mod. You know, in my opinion, that's one of the better map mods out there. It's just kind of an add-on to uh, the stock or uh, the vanilla map. I 
and I haven't read the uh, blog post a much. I just uh, kind of skimmed through some things. So I'm not sure what all the new features are exactly, but I did see where they added different uh, chassis configurations for all the trucks now. You know, you have the lift axle option available to all the trucks now, which is pretty cool. Also seen, uh, I'll show you real quick. I'm sure you guys have seen it, but uh, we'll take a look at it anyway. You have a field of view slider in game now, which is pretty stinking awesome. So you can adjust that to your personal preference. As you see there, I have mine set at 70. And I think it just looks really good. Feels a little bit more realistic to me. But uh, you can set that to whatever you want. I had it set all the way up at 90, but it just felt like I had that fisheye effect. But I uh, really like it here. And like I said, man, just these stretches of road now just feel so much more satisfying. Really reminds me of the old uh, Holland days on uh, Ivan's Cali map where you could just get on there and just drive. This definitely has that feel to it. So pretty excited about that. Go ahead and get our running lights on. You know, it doesn't take, you know, a couple minutes like it used to going from city to city and all that stuff. Guess we're going through the headlights on too. I can't, I was reading some stuff the other day from, uh, But I was uh, reading some stuff from uh, one of the KTI guys the other day, and I can't remember exactly um, where it was in California. It might have been Oakland. I think it was Oakland. They ran from Oakland to Elko, and it took uh, like about 40 minutes, whereas before they said it took them about 10, 15 minutes. I think that was averaging like 60 mile an hour. So that's pretty stinking awesome. You know, that's exactly what we've been looking for is just these longer runs where we can just get out here on the highway and just drive and not have to be on the highway for a couple minutes, hit an exit, be on the highway for a couple minutes, hit another exit, be on the highway for a couple minutes, and you're pretty much at your destination. You know, now we can go out and, you know, have those, you know, half hour, hour, hour and a half long trips or more, which is, you know, exactly what I have been wanting since day one. I know I've talked a lot about that in the past, but... And this is, this is pretty cool. I think this is a huge step in the right direction for this game. I think this will definitely start to bring people back into it. And just really help that uh, replayability. because now you can just sit down and just, you know, spend a couple hours and make a couple runs and just be really satisfying as opposed to, you know, sitting down for an hour or two and, you know, making, you know, 10 runs and just not really feeling all that satisfying. It just feels like you're, you know, doing missions and stuff like that. You know, now, now it actually feels like you actually get out to, you know, get out and drive and enjoy it. At least that is what I'm experiencing right now. And I gotta say, I like it a lot. And I'm kind of curious to check out some of the uh, ramps and everything too, see what uh, and if they've changed anything there. And if you guys have any information on that, be sure to share it down below. Always love hearing from y'all. But I did uh, read a couple things, uh, I think it was yesterday, where it sounds like the next state is going to be New Mexico. And it sounds like that's not going to be out until next year. But I mean, shoot, next year is what, like six weeks away? So 
That's kind of cool. I think the rescale will definitely hold us all over until then. But uh, hopefully, you know, that's the last move they make east for a little while. And they start heading north a little bit and uh, we get the Pacific Northwest. You know, get Oregon in there. You know, maybe hit over to Montana. And I think Utah has got to be coming along pretty soon, too. Because I think there's part of Arizona where you can actually get right to uh, the Utah state line, if I'm not mistaken. I remember watching a video. And I can't remember, uh, you know, the creator's name. So I apologize for that. But I know a couple months back, I watched a video where, you know, they went right to the Utah state line and said, welcome to Utah and everything, which was I thought was pretty cool. So you would think that would be coming along pretty soon as well. You know, hopefully they just don't, you know, keep heading east and do like New Mexico, then do like Texas. You know, don't get me wrong, I'd love to have Texas in the game, you know, sooner than later, because that'll be just a blast to drive around Texas. And that'll take uh, take a little while to get across that state with a rescale and everything now, which would be really cool. It'll be, you know, cool to take some runs from, you know, L.A., you know, to Houston or, you know, whatever. Just anywhere in Texas to get, get those real long hauls in. Right over there. But yeah, this is pretty daggone cool. Uh, we've been on the same stretch of road for what, 10, 15 minutes or here or so, and we still got quite a ways to go yet. Take a look actually and see. Yeah, we're maybe halfway. And like I said, we're about, eh, about the 17 minute mark in, 15 minutes driving or so probably. So that's exactly what we've been looking for so you know hats off to SES I was a little bummed out I was you know, like I said you know I was hoping and that's pretty much all it was but I was hoping we might get another truck on top of the 389 with uh, the rescale. Maybe they'll still surprise us. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get another truck uh, pretty soon on top of the 389. Love to see the Cascadia endgame. I'm not sure where they're at with all that. I've not seen any updates on their official blog, so I'm not sure where they're at with all the licenses and stuff on that. But, man, it'd be awesome to get the Cascadia endgame. I know a couple people said they wouldn't mind to see the Volvo in game as well, which that'd be pretty cool too. You know, me personally, I'm not a Volvo guy. You know, it's nothing against the trucks. I think uh, they look pretty good. But uh, I don't know. I've just never been a Volvo guy, per se. But I'd definitely love to see something to kind of break up. Uh, like I said in the uh, Mac Pinnacle video the other day, love to see something, uh, something else in the game that kind of break up that uh, Packer monotony. You know, there's tons of Peterbelts in game, tons of Kenworths in game. You know, let's get some different stuff, get some different manufacturers in game. I think it'd be pretty cool. See, that's that's nice right there. I mean, we had a pretty good run before we had to stop and. Uh, Get on a different stretch of road. That that's all right. You know, we're just now getting to Bakersfield. That's pretty awesome. Almost 20 minutes to uh, get to Bakersfield, doing uh 55. So that's that's cool. Definitely cannot wait till uh, they get multiplayer updated with uh, the rescale as well. That will make for some fun stuff. 
be able to get a big old convoy going, you know, from, you know, southern Arizona all the way up into uh, northern California or northern Nevada. That'll be pretty stinking awesome. I know I said the other day that I had uh, some multiplayer footage, but I think I accidentally deleted it. I was cleaning out uh, in the turn lane. Shenanigans. It's kind of cool how uh, they have those in California now, too. So I'm guessing, I thought I read where they, gonna, they were going to do that for all the states. Put that turn lane in. What is this guy honking at? It's red. Not a whole lot I can do. Of course, since I'm not turning, I probably could have went, but what do you do? But yeah, I was cleaning out uh, the folder. Hang on it. I'm going to go ahead and go. Boogered that all up, but yeah, I was cleaning out my folder that uh, I recorded some stuff to and accidentally uh, deleted the multiplayer footage from the other night. But I have been hopping on a little bit more and uh, doing some of that. I know some of the guys are interested in uh, helping me out, getting some multiplayer footage up on the channel, so I do appreciate that. And it's always, it's always a good time, you know, sitting down and hanging out with those guys, doing the multiplayer thing, because there's usually, you know, usually some laughs had, and at uh, some point in time, we're usually, uh, you know, laughing so hard that uh, we're struggling to catch our breath and uh, wiping some uh, tears from our eyes, so it's definitely good times. Yeah, this is very, very well done. You know, SES gets a lot of grief and a lot of flack from uh, time to time, but I got to commend them on uh, what they've done here with this rescale. You know, like I said, the little bit I've played of it, I think I've got maybe not even an hour in on it yet, but I can definitely tell that it has changed and certainly changed for the better. And the driving experience is just night and day from the original map. It is just so much more satisfying. And I was honestly shocked. Uh, I think it was Tuesday when I heard it. Uh, it was live because I recorded uh, the last episode of American Truck Sim the day before on a Monday. And someone had asked uh, if I had tried out 1.5 yet. And I had seen the um, comment come across on my phone, and I just kind of glanced at it. And I thought maybe they were talking about the division, which is also on uh, update 1.5 right now. And I thought, you know, just assume that's what they were talking about. And then uh, later on, looked at it like, wait, what? The map rescales in beta, which I said, like I said, I kind of thought, you know, I didn't really look at anything, but I just had a hunch that uh, it was going to be coming because they've typically been releasing, you know, the betas and everything for uh, both games, Euro Truck Sim 2 and ATS, right about the same time. So I kind of had a hunch that it was coming. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely nice. You know, like I said earlier, this takes me back to the days of Holland, where you could just load up uh, Ivan's map or whatever map, uh, you know, you liked, and you could just get out there and just drive, you know, for hours. And you can certainly do that again with uh, the rescale. I'm just kind of, kind of glancing around, checking everything out, not paying attention to the road because, you know, that's not important or anything, right? <laughs> Oopsie. But I'll be checking some stuff out here in the next couple days, some news articles, things like that. 
see if I can't find out any more information and hopefully between now and uh, once the rescale is released uh, get a news video out for you guys get you up to date on all that good stuff or as up to date as I can get you Right around 25 minutes or so. I'm just kind of curious to see exactly. Yeah, we still got a little bit to go. That is pretty stinking awesome. I mean, from San Francisco to Barstow is probably going to take us 25, 30 minutes, whereas before it probably took like 5, 10. Like literally. And we've had some nice long stretches of highway where we've just been able to get out and drive. I know I keep repeating myself, but man, it's it's the truth. It's awesome. This is exactly what we've wanted. You know, like I said before, you know, hats off to SCS for stepping up and doing this. I mean, they could have absolutely kept on going the way they were, kept it at 132 scale or whatever it was. And, you know could have stayed their status quo, but uh, ooh, shenanigans. All right, no harm, no foul. But uh, no, they listened to their community and they kind of put everything on hold a little bit and uh, said, no, we're going to go back and we're going to do right by you guys. We're basically going to, you know, almost completely redo our game. Which I did read something where they said they didn't completely redo the game world, but they've redid a lot of it. Which again, that's just awesome absolutely awesome certainly the right thing to do and uh, like I said I cannot wait to see what they have in store for us next you know what states we get next you know what types of highway systems we get and I read something I can't remember off the top of my head what it was but uh, they tweaked something with the uh, way stations so that'll be pretty cool bad if I remember correctly and we just looked at it like two seconds ago so kind of screwed up there, but dang. I did have my turn signal on at least. Now this is completely different, so that that's awesome. So this is part of the new uh, interstate system they've been talking about. This is cool. This is pretty cool. Nice, very nice. A little bit better of a merge lane. At least a little bit better than we had before at least. Yeah, this is pretty cool. 
guess it was Barstow we were coming up on. All right, now I'm curious. Yeah, it was Barstow. I don't know why I was thinking Carlsbad. That's a little bit south, but oh, hey. But yeah, we're about 30 minutes into the trip, and uh, we're not even really close to look again. And we still got just a little bit, a little bit to go before we get to Vegas. So if I had to guesstimate, maybe another 15, 20 minutes before we get to Vegas. So we're looking, what, about 45 minutes to an hour to get from San Fran to Vegas? That's pretty awesome. You know, before it's up, what, 20? At most? So, yeah. Make sure I'm in the right lane and don't do it like I did a couple minutes ago. Yeah, the road system is pretty steep and sweet. I mean, we're still in California, but this is like the road system that we have in Arizona. So that that's awesome. I'm glad that's kind of become the standard now. So I was really impressed with the road system they uh, implemented with uh, Arizona, you know, several months back. Hop over here. This car will let me over. There we go. Slide on over here and get out of everyone's way. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. I think they definitely knocked this out of the park. Definitely knocked this out of the park. So are we in Nevada now? So I see the speed limit sign back there said 70. But it still says 55 for us, so. Yeah, this is pretty stinking good. Really looking forward to uh, getting ATS a little bit more now and uh, doing some more stuff with this. If there's some other ATS content you guys want to see, just leave a comment down below. Uh, I've thought about bringing back uh, the gameplay stuff. You know, just the straight up gameplay, just me, you know, driving across the map, no commentary and all that stuff. If that's something you guys want brought back, let me know. So I see a lot of those videos up on uh, YouTube, and it seems like they do pretty well. It seems like people really enjoy them. So if that's something you guys want, let me know. We can certainly look at bringing that back. But it's been kicking around in my head uh, some more stuff that I can do with ATS. Because you, know, you guys obviously enjoy the content. Got uh, new rest areas up here. Yes, we do. I am checking this out right now. Okay, this. Yes. 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 Okay, this is freaking awesome. This is exactly. This is, yeah. This is pretty stinking awesome. They did an amazing job right here. This is so much more realistic. And this is just like pulling into an actual rest area now. Instead of, you know, pulling into just some little patch of dirt on the side of the road or whatever, calling it a rest area. That's awesome. That is awesome. Pull up here, get it straightened out. 
and they even have it separated out, you know, for cars and trucks. So, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And I'm still trying to get used to uh, using both the brake and the accelerator. Because I have to use the accelerator to uh, go in reverse. Oh, there we go. Tappy tap, and we should be good. Back up just a little bit more so we're out of the road. There we go. That's going to be good enough right now, I guess. Turn that off. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of American Truck Simulator. If you liked today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please take a look around, watch a couple of videos, and consider subscribing now. But guys, I'm going to cut on out of here for now. Until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.